Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Fiat 500. If you guys have a Fiat 500 and if you have problems with the rear defroster not working, you're trying to find the fuse for it, stay with us, we'll explain that. Also, we have a video about the uh, relay for the defroster and top reasons why rear window defroster does not work on Fiat as well. Check it out, all that will be on our channel. It's very important when you guys remove that fuse, inspect it, okay, not just by looking at it, but test it as well. Most of you will do, just do visual inspection. Sometimes you cannot tell if it's bad fuse and you may put it in and end up investing time and money. That's not worth it. So always test it. I will put a link to a special video in the description of the video below how to test a car fuse. So check it out. So before we start guys, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we, as, as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. If you want to see any specific videos on Fiat 500, leave a comment below. That way we can get an idea and if we have time, we'll try to make a video for your specific problem. If you need to buy any parts, tools, you want to save quite a bit of money, check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from as well so we actually have two fuses for the defroster that we need to check we will go ahead open the hood the main fuse box is located under the hood now uh, if you guys want to see where the secondary fuse box is located you have a second one we have a video on the channel that uh, explains where are the, the fuses and relays located on Fiat 500. All we have to do is remove that bolt the moment you get it loose, pull it straight up and you can see good news now on the fuse box here. You have uh, the fuse numbers printed which is very convenient. Uh, the not so fun part is they're not in order and you don't know what they're for. So. Uh, it's a little bit okay, uh, complicated guys. The first fuse that we will need to check is fuse number F85. That fuse right here, that's that 30 amp fuse. Okay, let me focus that 30 amp fuse. And uh, after that, we will have, okay, one more fuse that we need to check. It's fuse number F87. That will be the 5 amp fuse on the bottom as well. These two fuses are for the defroster. If the defroster doesn't work, uh, uh, check out the video about the relay as well. It could be a bad relay. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.